let's see how he shook you out. Storage augmentation, explosive drones, hypnotic eye, and the all well, the all important salvage frigate module. Hmm. But I'm afraid three repair kits isn't really enough for me. Um And I'm not good enough with with um with the guilds to unearth an ancient artifact. I was hoping to show that off. So let me just um, install this starship module. Um, <laughs> go back to the teeter and apply the frigate upgrade. And then it's off to the next system. Okay, now that I know how to make uh, mineral compressors, it's off to the next black hole. Yeah, don't worry, I'll bring the freighter along once I'm once I'm there. Might just be necessary. What kind of star is this? No, oh, never mind, Indium. I don't know whether they're there are any missions to be had. I, th I think there actually are missions to be had, but there for a while there weren't. There wasn't really much to um, those systems originally. It used to be they were all abandoned and looked really creepy. If I run into one of those, an abandoned system that is, I'll let you all know about it. Alright, here we go. Oh, come on, another one of these things. No, I'm not referring to that mysterious data injection. I'm referring to the fact that it's an outlaw system. I swear, maybe, maybe, if, maybe if I knew how to scan for these. Or maybe I can, and I've been overlooking it this whole time. It's possible. Either way. I like skipping systems. 
can't have to keep doing that, but that's why I don't... I guess that's why I shouldn't do this using the freighter, because what if I bring the freighter into a... Uh, into an outlaw system and it gets attacked or something? Ah, much better. Did break anything? No. I keep asking this, and I keep... And it keeps not... Hmm. That, that, that is a relatively short distance for a, for a jump through a black hole, but the way these black holes work, you're pretty much guaranteed to be, like, five to seven thousand light years closer to the galactic core anyway, so it's hardly a concern for me. I am out of that stuff. Oops. Nobody sells this. Yeah, I suppose I'll have to go down on one of the missions and, uh... Hmm. Okay, so I could... doing this more and more, but multi-tool expansion slots are much better rewards than nanites, units, or trade goods. In all honesty, I'm a little, I'm a little edgy about, about starting, about starting three star, uh, pirate hunts, because I want to see how I do on two star pirate hunts first. Hmm, and I don't have enough standing to raid a planetary harvester. That's for this strange world. I guess it's another roll of the dice as to where it actually is. Hoping it's here. Please. Come on, I've just been through a black hole. Give me a break. Of course you don't give me a break. It was back here, hidden behind. Okay, well I'm gonna go to the. Um, I'm gonna go to the mission that takes place outside this system first. Oops, sorry. It's here. Each time I warp, it seems to move the needle forward on the purge. <coughs> A little bit edgy about what's going to happen when that thing finally hits 16. Hopefully I have some say in whatever it is. Yeah, I'm supposed to take a picture of a strange planet. Wait a minute. Who is this? Come in. Artemis? I received your message. I don't know what to say. How do you know the Atlas is telling the truth? Well, that's an interesting question. I mean, um, it certainly injected a lot of information into my brain directly, that's for sure. 
Um, I don't want to believe anything blindly. Um, but, I mean, those weird planets, one of which I'm about to take a picture of, they make a pretty strong argument. But at the same time, and I've heard a lot of people actually saying this, like Noel, I think. But honestly, I have no idea how to tell whether that's correct or not. Maybe if giant rifts open up in the very fabric of space itself, then, well, then it'd be too late. But I still can't be entirely sure of this. So, I, I think I owe you an apology, my friend. When I found out what you did to me, you found out what I did to you. I thought my life was over. To be stuck here forever, knowing it wasn't real, it seemed worse than, worse than death. What did he do? Hit the barrier or something? And then loop back around, hand to his home planet, and what, and while he was going straight, and wonder why that happened? I mean, if that happened to me, then yeah, I'd be pretty sure that I was canned up in, uh, like, a teeny tiny little pocket of space-time, but... But to find out that it's artificial... How would he know this? Logical deduction or something? Eh. But you saved me. If the Atlas is telling the truth, things weren't real before either. Maybe I've never known anything real. I don't think real means anything. I don't think it matters. Everything's going to be alright, Traveler. The world is good. Um. Well. I'd like to show my appreciation. I, I guess Artemis probably knows I think I'm real. So I'm going to thank them. Maybe I've never real means anything. I don't... Everything's going to... It's good. The same communication comes back to me. Permeal is static. The message, the intonation, and everything about it is identical. Um, yeah, there's something off with my... Uh, with my radio. Maybe it's possible Artis isn't exactly repeating, is he? Maybe I've never real means anything. I don't... Everything's going to... It's good. It's then I realize it. The noises, the static I've been hearing throughout my adventures, it's not interference, the corruption of long-distance communication. How could it be? We speak through the protocol of a dream. The noises, the sound of... It's the sound of waking. It's the sound of everything falling apart. It's the final gasp. The death of the Atlas will not begin in 16 minutes. It began a long time ago. Yet even with this realization, Artemis' words fill me with happiness. I resolve to go on. There's still goodness in this world. I say goodbye not knowing if Artemis can hear me. I don't even know what that means to hear me. We're all just data. Did they ever hear me? These glitches will happen more and more in the final days. Individuals caught in cycles repeating themselves. Plants wiped from existence or changed overnight. All discoveries lost. I must journey on. There's something else. Yeah, another one of these data injections. I remember some time ago asking why there was radio interference in my own thoughts. If you were to consider that for a minute. Okay, so here we are in a fragmented, well, moon. And yep, this is it. Let's see if I can aim this thing to a place it can land. What is all this? Are there cubes? There are cubes. Squares. Bits of broken glass. It's like a planet kind of across with a Tiffany lamp. Well, they certainly sent me on a photogenic mission. There's the hydrogen here, too. You'll find out why I need it later. Let me just get some skins here. There are animals on low atmosphere planets. There generally aren't animals on low atmosphere planets. And this one looks like a bit of floating glass too. So 
So we'll just take this picture here. I'm going to take care of it. Okay. What do I have to do next? Hmm. You yeah, don't want to kill creatures here. Where's that repair thing, though? Is it back in the other? Yeah, it is. All right. Well, whatever. I'll get off this plant and head over there. And if anything happens, I'll I'll show it. Well, well, well. If it isn't another traveler. Don't you understand it? Why well, we cannot meet? Why well, we find only hollow echoes or corpses? Um, well, I played Submachine in Part 8, so I can sort of understand. There is only one of us for each iteration. A single traveler set out to explore its vast creation. That we are speaking at all, the boundaries have crumbled as much as they have. It should fill with terror, not with hope. Um, gee. Um... Should I say that this was meant to... I don't want to leave it to fate. Yeah, or I don't exactly believe that much in fate, so I don't want to say that it was meant to happen. I'm pretty sure I know how they know this, because it's the same way I know it. Can you ask about the boundaries, maybe? Yeah, I'm going to go with that. It's the least risky. The boundaries are all that separate concept from concept. The possible world from possible world. The sentinels ever policing their anomalies and breaches. If the boundaries were to fall, everything would descend into everything, an endless bonfire of causation burning in the abyss. Take this, it will do no good, yet you will need it. Um, arguably right on both counts. I hate to tell the poor guy this, but... But I superseded the bolt caster with the pulse spitter a long time ago. Still... You can sell this thing. Just don't let on that this is what I intend to do to this traveler. Oh, blow me right down. What am I looking at here? It's a, not just any old drop pod. It's a free drop pod! That's right. I did not burn a... I did not use a uh, a map to get to this place. I just found it. In fact, I thought it was like a dihydrogen crystal deposit. Because it sort of looked like one from way far off. So, let me just... Um, has it really been so long since I... Yeah, here we go. Got some of this. And let me see, where should I put this thing? How about here? Okay, so I've got storage augmentation, multi tool augmentation. Hmm, I could use a mind control device and a warp hi hypercore. And I'm wondering if the uh, minerals I have to scan are in that other system. Hopefully they are. Before I do that, though, I've been a little remiss about something. Um, you see, I've, I, I put together an Atlas Pass V3, and those let you into... Ah, ranked up in the Explorer's Guild. Anyway, those let you into... Um, the restricted zones of space stations. 
I did try to get into one before, a long time ago. All right, let's see what's in here. Huh? It's another one of these map things, and it needs a remembrance. I did I get around to constructing one of those. Uh, maybe when I get back to my freighter, that's where most of my materials are. Is it on a known planet? Apparently not. Well, here we go again with the purge, I guess. Next time this happens, I'm just jumping forward into into the next system. I don't want to act in bad faith. And again, I also don't want to pass up something as as expensive as an upgrade slot. Those things really cost. Whatever that is, I don't have time for it. I'm in the middle of a fight here. It's one of those data injections. Yes, I'm starting to think of them more like... more like shots than injections. They're just as bad sometimes, I guess. <laughs> But you're not going to goad me into shooting. That it? It is. Okay, looks like I'm coming aboard.
Hmm. I'm understanding more of these things. I'm not going to take command. I already have a freighter, and it's done rather a good job, as far as I can, as far as I'm concerned. Although it's not so much about the freighter, so much as it's about the frigates. Which there's this one thing I keep forgetting to do. Yeah, I'll get around to it though. As soon as I get back from these missions. Or maybe just this mission. Alright, here we are. Well, I said I'd bring my fitter here because there was something I wanted to do, but I didn't have the dihydrogen I needed. It's because it was bit low on fuel for for my frigates. How much tritium do I have around here? I only got a fair amount of these hyperclusters. Oh, this is interesting. How do I get antimatter? Yeah. Didn't know it came with them. Alright. Well, regardless. Um Whilst I'm in the middle of doing missions, I am going to take a hop up here. And put together some fuel as much as I can. Yeah, I know I'm doing this bit by bit, but uh Small denominations, we are the better way to go about it. But I might as well just take these things and put them on my ship so that I can sell them if possible. Is there something else I received? No, apparently not. Ah, yeah, whatever. So now let's talk to our navigator here there's like one expedition it is a trade expedition this is interesting do I can I actually cover this right here or how many trade ships do I I do have my trade ship back this is downright confusing um, I have a trade ship. I suppose I can put in the support ships. I'm kind of low on them. I'll return, see how that does. Well, okay, it's two and two. But I do have mind control device. So I'll launch that. And while I'm at I did put like another um, one of those command terminals there, you know, for fleets. I have four of them now. So here's one, two, three, four. Uh, but that wasn't really what I was trying to do here. There's something else. This trade thing just happened to come along, so I'm going to put like, down a fifth. Yeah. Why am I lost in my own freighter? This is nuts. Okay, um, yes, yeah, so now I've got a fifth room. I think you can only have like six of them. I would just plunk that one down too, but that's beside the point. See, everything else is a balanced expedition. And I can assign not support ships, but instead I can put down a nice trade ship, an exploration ship, an industrial ship, and a combat ship. And we've got everything pretty well covered. 
In other words, it's balanced. A balanced fleet for a balanced mission. Ooh, and look at the rating too. It's three stars. So if there are any balanced missions that are two stars, hmm. you know, it strikes me. Oh, I can't take a look at them because because all my command rooms are full. But for for the sake of, well, there's something else I just thought of. So yes, I am gonna plunk down that sixth command room. So I can find out where. Okay. Okay, here we go. Last one. And no, this isn't one of those things where I say, no, this is the last one. No, this is the really last one. No, this is the last, last, very last, very last one. No. Six, I think, is the limit. It's a hard limit, too. Let me talk about what I was thinking. There were two other balanced um, missions. And I have... Oh, on second thought, forget I said anything. I, I thought I had, like, one ship that I was missing. So I could just recruit it. And then send the, my remaining four ships out on another balanced mission. But not the case. So... Let me see. Add additional storage. Oh, I almost forgot to do this. Uh, while I'm thinking about it, I'm going to find out what this remembrance thing is. Is it a technology? Is it a... Uh, is it anything to do with... with this Atlas stuff? Um... Well, I can't seem to find the recipe for it anywhere. I wonder if I've learned it or if I can learn it. Yeah, I was going to construct one of these things, but apparently... Apparently I can't. Was it Starship technology? No. It's not Starship technology, it's not exosuit technology. It's not multi-tool technology either. It's gotta be something. One of these days I really ought to build one of those. Is there anything else I was gonna do? I'm sorry. Anything at all? Yeah, I know, I ran myself out of dihydrogen again. Um, oh yeah, the multi-tool expansion slot. Well, I'll take care of that when I've finished my missions. The other two are indeed in this system. When I've finished missions in this system, I'll go to the other system that I asked, that I didn't want to warp to but had and check there. And if anything happens, I'll show it. All right, let's see. Mind control device. Let's do expansion slots. Hmm. I know. Yeah, there is a two-star pirate thing, but I suppose there'll be other of these because. Because I mean, I can't. F there, there's no planet I can think of. That actually has predators on it in this system. Envoy. Where are you from? Ah, the Mercenaries Guild. I'm, I'm never really sure when to get these. Oh, 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 oh boy. What have we here? What have we here? All that, ladies and gentlemen, is a Walker Brain. Do you have any idea? Just what you have to do to get a hold of one of these. 
Well, I don't know whether I'll ever actually end up doing this, but you have to kill a walker. The meanest, nastiest sentinel of all of them. I've taken out the regular kind, the ones that fling bombs at you, the um, the ones that summon more, the ones that patch uh, that patch up the other ones. Yeah, he's taking this. The um, the quads, or as I like to say, the dogs. The and the um, and that one hanging around that pillar. You know, with the weird face. I forget what that's actually called. I think it's like a hard frame battle mech or something. But a walker? Now there is territory. Which I hope I... I hope I won't get to it. Until I'm, well, good and ready anyway. Yeah. I imagine that clapping eyes on one might just might just do what you need to understand. Hope oh, believe me, the the bat the hard frame battle might look creepy, I'll give you that. But these things they are apparently the M1 Abrams of the Sentinel world. Now where was I? Ah, uh, here we go. More missions. What do we have here? Oh, ho, ho, brother. We have... Uh, okay, I'm not going to scan floor at all, but I'm going to do this, raid a planter harvester, and find a missing person. We've never done either of these before. And I know I'm already pretty high up there with the merchants standing. Um, unfortunately, I... I'll just have to leave the system after this, but either way, both of these we've never done before. We raided um, we raided a depot, but not a planetary harvester. So this is a little bit different, but it does involve me shooting something. Uh, what's this here? Hold on, hold on. Hello? The line is silent, but a mysterious life form beckons me. They transmit their location to my star Starship computer. Okay, that is part of the m missing persons mission. We're not going to do that just yet. Instead, we're going to do a little industrial espionage and I'm guessing that this is where I have to go to do it because there doesn't appear to be anything else nearby yeah. I don't know if this wasn't on a planet where we've already been because here I had to land here for the mineral scan I've already scanned everything. Yeah, I'm right. I mean, there's a dog here. Well, still, the dog's not gonna. 
Not going to be too nasty to me just now. Ugh. Okay, fine. I'll just have to go up close and personal with this thing so that the dog can't exactly jump on me when I fire. What the? Really? That's one heavy door. Okay, here we go. Firewall breached, accessing schematics. The information the client seeks is available from this terminal. The data is encrypted, but I trust the client will still be able to process it. Yoink! I have the required data. I should return to the mission agent and make the delivery. Now let me just hang out in here for a bit. Oh, the Sentinels are in here, but they can't shoot in here. I suppose that makes sense. I mean... If they were lobbing bombs like that one, then they'd blow something up that they might not mean to blow up. Alright. Now, let's see what I can do about finding this mob boss here. You never really meet the mission, read the mission descriptions, but, I don't know, sometimes it helps. Now, where is this guy? Short trip. He's like right just there. Ah, yeah, it's a nice little settlement. There's a place to land. I don't think we've been to too many of these. Kinda hard to come by. I mean, you can look for them. I just haven't felt the need right now. So... Let me see. Ah. I'm wondering what this great big central pillar thingy is. But yeah, it looks like this research entity is my informant. Traveler something like from Quovix has information for blah blah. The life form get gestures that they have recently seen the target, they seem amenable to an off offer. Okay, now I got a problem with something. Fortunately, it's something I can come up with pretty easily. It needs three iron batteries. I have one, and two, and three of them. Yo, dude, are you still in interested in those iron batteries? But he wants something else, like a convergence cube. Nope, he wants the iron batteries. I know, I know sorta how these work. Um, I mean, that... These informants, they can ask for anything. Well, I don't know how wide of a range that is. While I'm here, is there any technology that I don't already know that you have available? Let's talk blueprints here. Ah, yeah. Gotcha. Everything else, you, else I already know, but... Uh, This might make a few things obsolete. Might. And installed. I forget why I balked so much on doing this. Maybe I thought I had. Uh, that because I had like three of these. Um, th these like underwater oxygen tanks. I didn't really need it. But I figure I might just have it for the sake of having it. There are a couple of times where I've gone fishing, if you uh, know what I'm referring to, and I've had to and I've had to stay down there for kind of a long time. 
Maybe it's the fish, maybe... Oh, speaking of fish, finally I can sell this thing. At or above cost. Yeah, I was hanging on to that one for... For ages. All right. Now, the missing persons look is around here some... Three hours away. Well, three hours away on foot, but it's still pretty... Substantial distance... Maybe it's not that far, but it's far. It's like eight minutes away from here by ship at this level of atmosphere anyway. Once you get out to the exosphere and past it, it'll be much shorter. Yeah, still a little much. I'll just use the poles. Yeah, you see that you have to hug the surface. Not exactly an easy thing to do manually. Um, okay, I see an approximate location. Now I don't. But there's only one other thing here, and it's this trade depot. Let's go. And that's him, apparently, the head of the Kovacs Nostra. Hopefully I'm not the only one who got that. Kovacs is found, secret entity, something. I have found the person my client seeks. I am not sure what I was expecting, but this life form was not it. Nonetheless, I am positive they are the correct person. I should transfer the location of the client immediately. And I will. It's always the... I transmit the location of my target. The client will be responsible for what they do with this information. And the informant will be responsible for getting it right. Turn this in. Turn this in. Yeah, it still hasn't. Oh well. So while I'm at this, let's see, I last talked to a guy from the Mercenaries Guild. Yeah, maybe I'm behind in these, because cause the last guy I visited was already, f was also from the Mercenaries Guild. Maybe I just ought to uh, keep stopping by these places, just in case. It's impossible to tell which guild they're from, at least as far as I know, but... There's still a bit of a backlog here. <laughs>